running is boring and painful and lonely sometimes, but every now and then you get these breakthroughs. You lose yourself in the forest and in the experience, and in those moments, I'm, I'm gone. Same, que same question. Uh, can you tell us your name? Will Harlan. And we know you El Chivo. El Chivo. El Chivo. Uh, we know that you won the Caballo Blanco Marathon two years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago. What it means for you to win this race? It is the most meaningful race of my life. The past three years, I've learned a lot more about the Taramara, who they are and what they believe and how they live. I've changed my life to, to be more like theirs. Will would have made a very good monk. Like, I think he really revels in self-flagellation. Suffering makes him feel better about himself because he knows that the rest of the world is suffering and that if he's not suffering also, then he's forgetting. He's raced some of the big races and done excellent, but he just doesn't race as much as some of the names that you hear about all the time and you know, doesn't seek sponsorships and things like that. But if he were to, he's as good as it gets. At some point during the day, those workouts will commence. A lot of forceful exertions happening in there. You know, I'm gonna get home from work at 6.30 and chances are, you know, he'll still be finishing exercise. It's not like I can walk in and be like, hey, we're home, can you stop now? I mean. There is this, this energy inside that needs to get out, this kind of throbbing intensity that just needs to find expression. In a lot of conversations we've had with them, we've encouraged them, like, you know, you can't be doing this forever, taking off and going these things where you just run yourself in the ground. We're just afraid he might really injure himself. Two, three. 